Okay, well thank you for joining me. Some people have had issues downgrading this, the Mavic Pro, from 0104, 0500, down to 0700. Never really had an issue myself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a step-by-step, -step, show you how I do it, and hopefully it might work for you as well. Now the first thing you need is this, a proper DJI lead. Leads can be an issue, so try and get the official ones that should have come with your Mavic Pro. Let's plug that back into my laptop. Wait for the Mavic Pro sign to appear. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it should show that I'm currently on 01040300. Just ignore the update on that. There you go, I'm currently on 01040300. I'm going to upgrade to 01040500. Whole process will take about 10 minutes. Start the update. Okay, you've got to wait for this to update, so I'm going to fast forward all the updates because obviously there's no need to make you sit through probably the next 10 or 15 minutes of video. Okay, the quad is updated to 01040500. As you can hear now, it's just restarting itself. This is a couple of times. Update complete. Let's click on back. Let's confirm what version of firmware we're on. Ignore that. There you go. Now it says we're on 01040500. Simple as that. What we're going to do now is we're going to step down through each firmware. And again, I'll fast forward through all the irrelevant parts until we get down to 0100. And then at that point, I'll show you how I go from there down to 0700. First thing I want to do, though, is to restart the quad. I always like to restart between updates and downgrades. Let's power the quad back on again. Okay, I'm going to click on downgrade for 010400. So start the update, and again, I'll now fast forward through this part. So that's the quad now downgrades to 010400. Click on back, just check that's gone through all right. Ignore the no fly zone update. There we go, we're now on 01040400. Now, once that's downgraded to that one, we just need to go on the app and just double check that everything's working fine, the app's not got any issues. So, I'm going to just turn the controller on. Make sure it connects. Okay, the controller's connected. I'm going to plug in my phone and launch the DJI Go app. DJI Go 4, just once. I see they're happy to show the new Mavic Pro 2 on the splash screen now. Ignore that. Tells me a new firmware is available. Let's just click on Go Fly. Tells me there's a firmware update, which I don't want to do because I'm downgrading. Reach GPS signal, yep, that's fine, that, that's okay. So as you can see, everything's now showing fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm now going to downgrade now to 01040100. So again, it's going to turn the Mavic off to start with. Turn off the remote control. I'm going to go straight down now to 01040100. So again, click on upgrade, start update, and I'm going to fast forward this part once again. Okay, uh, as you can see there, it's now done. So we'll click on back, and again, we'll just check the firmware. 
let it refresh itself. Ignore the no fly zone update. And as you can see, I'm now on 01, 04, 0100. So I've gone down from 0500 to 0100 in two steps. Okay, so now we're at 01, 04, 0100. We now need to step down to the 0700, the much sought after firmware. First thing I'm gonna do is just turn the quad off. I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna show you how I get to 0700. Okay, so now we're gonna use what's known as Dumbbell Racer Jar. This requires you to install Java on your PC and it runs through a DOS box or a Windows command prompt depending on what you want to call it. I'll put this in the link uh, on my Dropbox and put the link below. Uh, I use version 1.1 so I find it works better every time. You'll see there's a text, uh, this is the command java-jar, dumbrace etc. Highlight that and copy it with the control and C. Power on your quad, make sure it's connected to your computer. Now, I'm, I'm not going to go through DOS, and if you don't know how to use DOS, then just do a quick Google search, but I put mine in a root folder called Flash. As you can see, it's there. I'm just going to paste the command into there like so. Once the quad is fully booted up, you'll know when the beep beep stop. Okay, press enter on the keyboard, and it comes up with a load of writing. Uh, basically, if it breaks your equipment, it's your fault, not theirs etc etc I'm using com6 so all I do is I press number one and enter and it'll say sending upgrade command it's uploading payload one exploiting you see the lights on the quad now starting to flash Race one has started. Now sometimes you'll get an issue with the Java tool and at the end of the video I'll show you what I do to make sure it works properly every time. So race one has started. Now this should take about a minute and a half. Uh, the chap who wrote it says that if it hangs doing nothing at any time Simply close out the DOS box and start it again. Don't reboot the quad, just simply restart the process again. Okay, so race one has been won. It's going to take a breather for 10 seconds. And that should start race two very shortly. There we go, sending the upgrade command. And like I said, about a minute, if it's done nothing for about one minute, this program, close out the DOS box and just start it again. What it should do, it should put dots across the screen underneath uploading payload 2. If you don't see the dots, sorry, after exploiting, if you don't see the dots and it just hangs on exploiting, then quite simply turn off the, uh, close out the DOS box and start again. This is actually going through quite well. It says I'm in the lead. This is all real time, I'm not going to fast forward any of this to show you how long it can take. Now the lights in the quad have gone off, as you can see. Now that suggests to me that something's not gone through properly. Well, it looks like we might be restarting this procedure again. I've had this before uh, on a couple of occasions when trying to use this tool and it does nothing at all, it just hangs there with you are in the lead. Yep, still waiting. The lights are off on the quad. I think that's definitely going to be a failed attempt at that one. So I'm going to close the box out, start again. It doesn't do any harm uh, to cancel the uh, exploit if it doesn't work the first time. You are quite able to restart it again if need be. Just don't restart the quad yet. And again, as I always say, doing any of this is at your own risk.
I'd like to make that disclaimer quite clear. So once again, race one has started. Lights in the quad are flashing away. Still going. Lights in the quad are on and they're off again. So they are still flashing. So that's always a good sign. There we go, so that's race one finished. It's taking a breather now for 10 seconds. Okay, so then the upgrade command for the second part of the process. Uploading payload two. Again, keep your eye on the quad lights, see what they do. They should start to flash when it says exploiting. There you go. With the lights flashing away, you know at this time it's taking the command. Still going. Still flashing away. There you go, there's the dots appearing. Any second now it should tell me it's been done successfully. There you go, looks like you won. Reboot the target device and try using ADB or downgrading. That's the Java tool, dead simple, dead easy to use. If you have trouble using the Java tool, uh, if it comes with an error message, power your quad on before you, uh, before you run Jar. Go down to your network properties, so open network and sharing center and go to change adapter settings and you should find a pop-up here called remote end disk base internet sharing right click it choose properties and go to TCP IP 4 now normally this will be set to obtain an IP address automatically which does use the same IP address but for some reason it doesn't work so I choose to use the following IP address and put in 192.168.42.3 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 Once that's in it should stop the Java error coming up. I think it comes up with something like not accessible or something like that. Now you defeat the anti-rollback, we're going to use Dank Drone Downloader to get the firmware version that you want. Simply run it, let it start up. Takes a second. Drop the list down, choose Mavic Pro including Platinum Alpine, choose AC only and there's your firmware there. Now I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to need to use that. I'm going to run Dumbledore and I'm going to run version 3. There's the firmware there that I'm going to use. Double click on that one. Let Dumbledore V3 start up. Querying device, just looking for the quad. There we go. Click on load firmware and you need to go to where you stored it. So mine's on the desktop. It's in Dumbledore and it's there. That's the oh no, that's not the one. Be careful, that's for RC. Okay? Don't click the RC one. I've got it down here. There we go. RC Mavic and the one that doesn't say RC is your aircraft one. Click on open. And then we're going to simply click on Flash Firmware. Transfer into the device. 
rollback defeat complete, even though it's already been done, it automatically runs the, uh, the anti-rollback feature. Prepare and upload, please wait. Now as you can see it says flashing is complete and device may be powered off. Before you power it off the first thing you're going to want to do is just turn the controller on and you want to make sure the controller connects. Okay so the controller has connected. Once that's done Close out Dumbledore and restart it. And if all's gone well, you should be on 0700. But as you can see, it quite clearly says it's on 01, 04, 0100 still, so it's not taking the flash. Not a problem. Simply load the firmware again. And flash it again. So my GoPro crashed out just before the end of the video there, but as you can see from the screen recording, uh, it finished flashing in uh, Dumbledore, uh, restarted it and you can see it shows version 01030700, simple and as easy as that. Got any questions, do feel free to contact me and let me know.